Water is a critical component of energy and is needed for everything from hydropower to thermoelectric cooling. Because of this, it's important to understand what water resources are available and where so that we can better respond to droughts or flooding. Currently, however, critical world water data that would help in this is not shared or accessible in one place. Thanks to a professor at the Cockerell School of Engineering, one day it will be. What we're doing at the University of Texas is producing the first public standards for the exchange of water data on the internet that have ever existed. So it's like we're building a water channel through the internet so that when people want to know about water information, no matter where they are in the world or what kind of water information it is, they'll have a common path by which to do that. Known as WaterML, the system creates an online catalog where people from around the world can upload information on everything from lake levels, rainfall, or water quality in a given area. So we've got a fairly extensively deployed system in the United States for WaterML now by the US Geological Survey. I was last week in Australia and they're building an Australian water resources information system uh, and they're using web services as a part of that. And I'm originally from New Zealand, little old New Zealand, and they're even starting now to be using WaterML as a common language in uh, conveying water information in New Zealand. I think people want to understand more about their world. People want to be more informed about the water that they want to, they want to swim in, they want to drink, they want to be safe from the threat of floods. They want to know if we've got a drought right now, how severe that is, how much water do we really have. Uh, when President Bush was our governor and we had a severe drought in Texas, he said, how much water do we have? How much water are we using? How much water do we need? Those are pretty basic questions, actually. And if we're going to be cognizant of the fact that 70% of our bodies are water, the management of water is a pretty basic thing for uh, our well-being. I'm proud of what we've done in this project because I think it's going to make the lives of my children and my grandchildren just a little bit better than they would otherwise have been. And that makes me feel good. <laughs>